Hello everyone, how's it going? Bill here, STL Puckhead, back with another video. It's been a few weeks and I apologize. We've had a few visitors here at the house recently. My wife's best friend's daughter was here as uh, my wife's best friend had to go down to Texas. And then uh, my mom was here for a few days checking out the new house. And I just took her uh, uh, home and dropped her off yesterday. So things have been kind of hectic. Um, but today's video, I wanted to uh, talk about the National, um, show my most recent pickup, and then I was going to do a, a tour of my man cave. Um, so for this year's National, I didn't get to go. I planned on it. Uh, Chris and I had talked about it, um, but with buying the house and everything um, this summer, I wasn't able to get there this year. Um, but I'm working on putting a plan in place. Uh, so I can make it next year, hopefully to Cleveland. But I've been watching a whole lot of videos uh, that were posted on YouTube about pickups from the National, the meet and greet, um, all that good stuff. And it sounds like, uh, seems like everybody who went had a great time. So uh, like Lou Rock, I have a little bit of FOMO. Um, and I'm a little bit jealous that I wasn't able to make it this year and hang out with you guys. Uh, but I hope I can make it next year, and I look forward to meeting um, all of the YouTubers, especially the guys that I look up to and have followed their channels for a while. So hopefully I can make it next year. I've got a plan uh, set up um, for a budget to just start getting everything together. So hopefully I'll see you all next year at the National. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to talk about a pickup. I just have one card to show you guys today. I have another one that's in the mail, but the post office is having some issue with it, and it's been stuck in Florida for like a week. So I have no idea when that card is going to get here, uh, but when it does, I'll go ahead and show that to you. Today's pickup isn't a huge card. It's just one I've always been a really big fan of. And then I'll, I'll show you what the man cave looks like right now. I'm mostly done. I would say probably 80%. There are still a few things I'm trying to find room for because this is a, a tiny uh, room, but I'm happy to have it because it, it's a better space than I've than I've ever had before. So um, I'm pretty excited to show you that. It will always be a work in progress. I'll always be buying stuff and moving stuff around, I'm sure, um, but I'll show you what it looks like today. So without further ado, I'll cut this, show you my pickup, and then I'll film the walkthrough of my man cave. All right, so here's my most recent pickup. I just got this in the mail, oh, I don't know, one day last week, I think. Today's Wednesday as I'm filming this video, so I think it was toward the end of last week that this came in. Um, so most of you know King Griffey Jr. is one of the guys that I collect. Um, I have several of these ungraded, but I've never had one graded. I'd like to get this in a 10, but it's a, it's a pretty expensive card. I've just I've really always liked these provisions cards. At some point, I would like to get all of them uh, graded in nines. Um, but I saw this on eBay. It was pretty cheap. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was around twenty twenty five bucks. I think a ten in this is uh, probably in the hundred to two hundred dollar range. So for me, it makes a whole lot more sense to just buy a nine for ten percent. Um, and here here's another one sitting here right on top of this stack. These are all King Griffey Jr. cards on this stack here um, that I'm going through and, and pulling out cards that I think may be worth grading at one point. So I just thought that was funny um, the day this came in the mail that the other one was sitting right there on top. So i um, just always been a big fan of this card. Um, a lot of people don't like the mustard yellow 92 Fleer set, um, but I've, I've never really had a problem with it. One of these days, I'll get the uh, King Griffey Jr. and Barry Bonds second generation superstars card, or I can't remember what they, they call the card, but it's a really cool card of King Griffey Jr. and Barry Bonds together. I like that card too. So um, there's the most recent pickup to add to the King Griffey Jr. collection. And then without further ado, I will cut this, or I'll, I'll shut this off and um, take you for a tour of the card room slash man cave. All right, I'm back for the last and probably most exciting part of this video, the tour of the man cave. So 
this desk right here, pardon the, the soda bottles, is where I film my videos at. I pulled my chair out just because uh, it's a pretty big chair and takes up a lot of room, and this is a pretty small room. So when I walk in and I turn to the right on this wall here, I have a 1982 World Series Championship Cardinals t-shirt that is authentic to 1982. My wife and I found that at a thrift store uh, back in probably around 2001, 2002. I paid eight bucks for that um, and just thought it was awesome. So um, decided to hang it up on my wall. These are recent finds from my mom's basement. This is a, a scorecard from 1975 on August 4th. My mom and dad and an unborn STL Puckhead went to a baseball game. And my mom filled out the score sheet. Uh, the Cardinals played the Pirates that day. Um, so it's got Willie Stargell and, and all those guys, the stars from the Pirates back in 1975 on the score sheet. I thought that was really cool. And then on this one, it's from August, or from June or July of 78. My mom was actually pregnant with my younger brother when she filled this one out. So I thought these were cool and wanted to add them to the man cave. Here's just a t-shirt from 2011 from the Cardinals winning the World Series. I just bought to, uh, to keep back. I've never worn that. And then here is the 60 Tops Hall of Famers and, and stars that I currently have for the set that go on this wall. The Kenwell uh, glove advertisement are at my school district. My assistant, uh, former assistant superintendent and uh, baseball coach gave that to me. Um, he knew what a huge baseball fan I was or am. And he's, uh, he has a lot of older cards and memorabilia and all other stuff. He was actually under contract with the Yankees for 30 days and went to spring training with them. So, again, there's the, uh, the 60 top set display. Like I said, I'm going to move these shelves a little bit closer so I can get more on here. And then up here on the ceiling, there are just some of my hats. Uh, this is my old high school. My uh, brother-in-law works at that school now and, and sent me one of these uh, from a few years ago from the baseball team. This I bought when Mark McGuire broke the home run record. A couple uh, World Series and Stanley Cup hats from the Cardinals. I've never worn these. I've just always bought them to put back to keep. And then this is my current high school that I coached baseball for last year. That was one of our gamer hats. So around this corner, as you can see, this is a pretty small room and then this corner juts out. So it takes up some of the area, but at some point I'm going to put a chair and a table right here whenever I get around to getting a chair. But um, this wall here just has some more uh, cardinal stuff that I've picked up through the years. It's a little bit tight because my back is up against the display cases that you have seen. So, uh, these magazines, I've just always had. I bought them new and just always kept them. I'm kind of a pack rat. I knew one day I would have a man cave that I'd be able to display all this stuff in. So, now I finally have one and I'm super happy about it. Humble brag, home run baseball from Babe Ruth State Tournament in 1994. I hit a three-run home run and we came back and won the game. Another uh, World Series magazine from 2006. This is super cool. I found this at an antique store. St. Louis Cardinals fan, 1985 World Series. Of course, they lost that World Series to the Royals. Shout out to Chris from Missouri. He'll be happy to see that. Here's uh, some of my Ozzy Smith player run cards that I have set up on little uh, shelves. You guys, this is what uh, you guys look at when I when I film my videos. Just a little memento for Bush Stadium. Photo of Enos Slaughter, Stan Musial, Red Shandinsk, 
there. It's another Bush Stadium Memento. This I've had for a long time. This is just a magazine cover of Stan Musial. At once upon a time, I was going to paint that frame. This is the frame I bought it in. Um, but it's a really old frame. And so I just, I don't want to change it. So this magazine cover is a little rough. Um, but I, I only remember when I bought this. I think I bought this um, around 2010 or 11. Just had it for a long time. Here's another uh, Cardinals World Championship. Uh, just picture frame. And then you've seen my employees only. This is an unfinished part of the basement. Here's kind of, I'm in my King Griffey Jr. corner now. Um, these are just wax boxes um, that I ripped over the last few years. Um, a lot of junk wax, a lot of hockey, you, you can see there. And then here are some of my uh, favorite King Griffey Jr. cards that I have graded along with some Beckett's. I'm still not done because I'm missing a bunch of King Griffey Jr. starting lineups and stuff that I haven't come across that I'm gonna put on this shelf for display. There's a in the package starting lineup. This was a recent pickup in an antique store. If you guys are were kids in the 80s, you probably remember these card uh, storage. I don't even know what to call it, but I had one of these when I was a kid. And I used to pack cards all over the place in this. And this was before top loaders and penny sleeves, at least before I was able to get them. And these things will tear your cards up. But I came across that recently and thought it was in really good condition. And it instantly brought back memories of a uh, eight, 10 year old STL Puckhead carrying, you know, probably Don Mattingly rookie cards and stuff around in that to get thrashed. So here are some Nintendo games that I have up here, and then some PlayStation 4 games. I'm gonna go around, show you the other side. So these are my cases that you've seen in previous videos. Right here. And then there's my PlayStation, my Nintendo. Up here on these shelves is just a lot of Cardinals World Series and just various Cardinal Chotsky that I've kept over the years. Uh, Bryn Smith Auto that I got at a game in Bush Stadium was pretty cool when I was younger. The exhibit Stan Musial I bought recently. Scott Terry Autograph. My wife just put some of these Cardinals cards in frames for me a long time ago when we lived in Montana and I almost had a man cave. Just more random Cardinal stuff. Team starting lineups. I bought that off of eBay not too long ago. It was still in the box, but the box was thrashed. So I went ahead and pulled it out. Bob Tewksbury. I actually got his autograph walking down the street after a Cardinals game when I was in high school. He had a, a really good year for the Cardinals one year. The Cardinals were terrible, but he was great. So McFarlane, Albert Pujols, Bobbleheads, Ozzie Smith autograph ball. My wife got that for me a couple years ago for Christmas. Ozzie Smith, McFarlane, more Bobbleheads. And then another Pujols, McFarlane. And then here I have just Cardinals pennants that I've come across through the years. 85, 82, 87, and then that's just a random one. So as I get cooler ones, um, I'll replace the ones on the end that are just kind of random. So here is the last wall that I've uh, just finished. So here are the Red Shane Deans and Ozzy Smith, uh, Smith autograph bats. And then here's the most recent pickup that I'm getting off of Chris, that I bought off of Chris, Albert Pujols. I mistakenly said in a previous video, another Hall of Fame autograph bat. He's not a Hall of Famer yet, but he will be first ballot. If And he probably won't be unanimous because some knucklehead won't vote for him. And then these are uh, 
original newspapers from Mark McGuire's Home Run Chase back in 1998 that I've always had and never really had a place to display them, so I'm happy to finally get those up. I have a couple more, but I just I don't have room. And then here's the recent autograph Red Shane Deans pickup that you have seen, and then here's another another uh, Mark McGuire St. Louis Post Dispatch from 1998 when he was doing the home run chase and then here's where I film my videos on this desk here stack of King Griffey Jr. cards a few uh, Albert Pujols cards that I might send in to get graded at some point and uh, that's pretty much it I hope you enjoy the video there's the man cave so this is my closet in here and that's a mess i've got white boxes of baseball cards stacked everywhere and complete sets and books and it's just a mess so i'm not going to show you that um, but that's pretty much it there's a tour of my man cave uh nothing crazy just stuff that i've i've uh, held on to over the years um, that meant something to me and and um you know stuff that i'll probably never get rid of so hope you enjoyed so that's going to do it for today's video. Hope everybody's having a good one. And until the next time, I'll see you guys.